I'm going to show you how to make a mask that you can wear while playing in band. This hasn't been tested. Um, this isn't going to be perfect as far as keeping all droplets to yourself, um, but it's just better than not being able to play in band because you don't have any mask. This has adjustable ear loops because everyone has a different size face. Put it on like this. Make your beads tighter to fit on your face. It's got a split that opens up like this and you put your instrument like so and it covers up your nose and it keeps you pretty well covered. And then you will add a safety pin to make the hole smaller. Depending on what instrument you play and how small you would like it to be. For this project, you will need two beads, four pieces of ribbon that are seven inches long, two pieces of 100% cotton fabric that are 10 inches by 10 inches, I wanted all black fabric and they were out, so I had to get this, but it's black on the back side, so you won't see this other color at all when we're done. We're going to put that on the inside. For this, we're going to line up the ear loops, put that in the top corner. doesn't matter which way it's facing because all it's a square. And then fold this one in half and put it right here and measure two and a half inches. Now this is the right side of the fabric. Make sure that's facing up. Fold this over to line everything up. You're going to start sewing about one inch from the edge and leave this section open. Turn this corner. And turn this corner and go all the way to the end. We've sewn two of these exactly the same way and we're going to cut off the corners because that will make it less lumpy on the corners. And then we're going to turn it right side out and it helps if you have a knitting needle that you can poke into the corners. You could iron this flat, but I don't think it's necessary. It's just quicker not to. So we've got the ear loop hanging loose. I miss this corner. No, oh, it's okay. <laughs> and then you fold this over and sew the top and you'll do those two pieces the same way. Okay, we've got our two pieces that we have sewn the tops across. We've got the ear loop sticking out on the outside. Now we want to overlap this 
by one inch at the top and then turn it at an angle and you'll know it's the right angle if the opening is at about four inches. So let's put some pins in this. And then we also wanna overlap the bottom, but make it straight and overlap this by one inch and put a pin in that. So now we're going to sew just all the way around the edge. So for the ear loops, we're going to put both these pieces together and then fold it in half so we can slide the bead on. Slide the bead up there and then fold this two times. Now this is hard to advance through the sewing machine. It gets stuck, but if you put this at the back side, then you can pull it through. Use a zigzag stitch and maybe make it a little wider than your standard zigzag stitch. It doesn't look pretty, but it keeps the bead on there. And you'll do both of the ear loops the same way.